Hello everyone, this is Olga, pediatric occupational therapist. I want to share with you 10 exciting activities with using the straws. The activities that I will share with you will address visual motor skills, sensory processing, self-help skills, strengthening of the small muscles in the hand, fine motor skills, and many more. For game number one, you will need two crayons, cut up straw, a small fork, and a piece of paper. On the paper, draw the character that's desired by your student. In my case, it's Baby Shark. I'm using green and orange to match the color of the cut up straw. Next, use the fork to pick up your straws and place it in the mouth of a shark. For game number two, you need a marker, cup, pom-poms, scissors and straw. Let's make a cup into a fence. Use the straw to blow at the pom-poms so they end up inside the cup. For game number three, you need a paper roll, hole puncher, marker, and some straws. Make five dots at the top and five dots at the bottom. Use the hole puncher to make the holes. Label the dots using letters, numbers, shapes, or pictures. Now use the straw to connect the star to the star. And smiley face to the smiley face. Let's make straw rockets for game number four. You will need markers, two colors of paper, scissors, and scotch tape. Divide the paper in five columns and draw any design you want. First cut out your rectangles, then cut out five triangles for the nose of your straw rocket. This is the final product. Wrap the paper around the straw but make sure it's not too tight. Use the tape on the bottom and on the top. Fold the top over and attach your orange triangle. Use the scotch tape in the front and the back. Push the straw up and down to make sure it's not too tight. Once it's on the straw, you can blow. And blow again. Let's make some bubbles for game number five. You will need a straw, a cup with water, food coloring is optional, and a drop of hand soap. Practice blowing out of the straw before you put it in the water. Once it's in the water, it's very important that child does not drink it. Add some food coloring and add a squirt of hand soap. And let's blow. Some kids will even enjoy touching them. Let's do some cutting with game number six. You will need scissors and straw. This activity works on pre-cutting skills, which is called snipping. To improve self-help skills, let's play game number six. 
you need a small spoon, cut up straw and two little plates. Transfer the straw from one plate to another one by one. By using a smaller spoon you are adding more challenge to the activity. For game number 7 we're going to do some coloring and lacing. You need two markers to match the color of your straw and four q-tips. Color two q-tips with green and two of them make orange. Now match and lace. Let's do some strengthening for game number 8. You need Play-Doh and cut up straw. You can roll the Play-Doh into a shape, a letter or a number. I'm going to make a birthday donut to make it fun and engaging for the child. Push the straw into the Play-Doh halfway by making a pattern. You can pretend that the straws are candles and blow them when you're done. Let's do some hand strengthening for game number 9. You will need cut up straws, a cone cup and a cloth pin. You can use the cup as well. I like to use the cone cup because it doesn't stand and the kids are forced to hold it. If they don't use appropriate amount of pressure, the cup will slip out of their hand. Let's do clean up now using your cloth pin. Pick up the straw one at a time and transfer it into the cone. Let's pour it from one cup to another without dropping them. If you do drop them, use the clothes pin again and pick them up. For game number 10 you need a cup and some cut up straws. The cup should have a lid with little opening. Push the straws inside the opening one at a time. You can work on transferring from palm to tip. You can work on isolation of thumb, index and middle finger. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.